What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Maltman episode. I'm with my buddy Kyle and his fiance Donnell and we are out deer hunting today. But as you're about to see, we just hot we just shot Hogzilla. Kyle just shot Hogzilla. 300 yard shot. Pinned him right in the shoulder. This thing has the biggest shoulder plates I've ever seen and actually huge cutters for Texas, but shot him right in the shoulder, dropped him, and Donnell saw him get up and run to the left. We searched for probably 20 minutes. We we're coming back to the truck and he was sitting under a tree. Yeah, I'm ready when you are. Got him. Oh, here he is. Giant. Look at those cutters. <laughs> That is a big old Texas pig. So today we're actually here to get her first buck. So we're actually headed to our spot to go sit. We're gonna try to rattle for some bucks. It's 24 degrees here in Texas, which is freezing for here. So we know they're gonna be moving, but put this pig down and uh, now we're gonna go after a buck. So stay tuned, hopefully we get a deer on the ground, but if not, this uh, hogzilla was definitely worth coming out here. Well guys, it is the next day and it is still freezing here in Texas. I went and sat in the deer blind this morning and my hands were absolutely freezing. It was 21 degrees in the stand. But anyway, um, I came home yesterday. As you saw, as you didn't see, we didn't, uh, Donnell did not get a deer yesterday. Uh, got on a few bucks, just nothing that she was really after. So came back home and uh, did a little time lapse video. We're gonna do. We're gonna finish this video by showing you how to uh, properly boil or um, do a European mount on your pig skull. So what I did yesterday when I came home is I did a little time lapse video of basically taking every little piece of meat and skin that you can off of the head before you start the boiling process. So um, here's that. I'm gonna go get the uh, water started. Y'all enjoy. Go ahead and drop these in the water and let them boil. Okay, guys. So it's been in. It's been boiling for probably uh, I'd say about 20 minutes. On the head of the pig has broken off, or it's split down the middle, and that's what you're looking for whenever you're boiling. Whenever that, I can't get a hold of it. But whenever that skin starts to split down the uh down the middle of the face we're ready to pressure wash so i'm gonna throw on my little uh rain suit deal and then uh and then i'll see y'all over at the pressure washer and uh, we'll get all this junk off then we'll move to the next step which is whitening it guys it's starting to sleet here but uh, I got these I uh, got the top and the bottom 
cleaned off as much as I can. Got a mixture of 50% um, 40 volume peroxide and 50% water. And I'm gonna drop them in there, leave them in for about five, 10 minutes, and then I'll hit them again with a pressure washer and they'll be about done after that. Take it over here and pressure wash it real quick and then I'll show you all the finished product. Okay guys, it's been a few days since I've seen y'all last. It started to rain on me that night whenever I was doing this skull and uh, ended up finishing off camera. So here she is. She turned out great. Um, really got Try to get all the grease, um, try to get as much grease out of these guys as you can. Literally take every little piece out of their nose um, that you can. Clean everything up as much as possible and it'll save you in the long run. Um, I didn't mention, mention it whenever I was boiling the head, but I did add some Dawn dish soap into the, uh, into the mixture. Um, whenever I initially boiled it and that that pulls out the grease it's a degreaser so it takes the grease out but that's the finished product uh, I'm pretty happy with it. it turned out good it is a giant pig you take this top half off you can see just how big his tusks were I mean they're good four inches five inches almost and uh, that's a really big pig right for around here and no those are not pulled at all that is uh that is exactly how they lay in there so uh pretty pretty sweet pig but uh so yeah it's kind of a vlog style video uh just hanging out boiling ahead and uh i want to show y'all this as well my boy crispy y'all saw him in my video of the buffalo hunt um he is actually partnered with diamondback bed covers and they sent me one over and i think it is absolutely awesome unlocks just like that uh, both sides go up and then on the front side there is a uh, a tray oh it's locked that's another cool thing about it i forgot to unlock it but keys are inside these lock so now whenever i go travel and do all these hunts and fishing trips and stuff like that i can put my guns i can put my camera cases i can do everything put everything that i don't want to get touched in the bed of my truck and uh and I can lock it up so that's super helpful when I go on these trips and then like I was saying the front part you can see that tray up there um, you can lay your tools or your straps your tie down stuff like that in there so that's really handy as well but pretty easy um, it was like it probably took me 45 minutes to install it uh, my dad came over and helped me put it on and it was nothing there was nothing to it so huge thanks to Diamondback covers and uh, crispy for sending this over. I really appreciate it and it is awesome. Definitely gonna get some use out of it. I'm gonna put this skull in the old office and I'll uh, catch you guys inside. So I've been dabbling in a little bit of um, European mount stuff lately. This is a bobcat, a uh, fox, and a skunk. This is the skunk that I did the uh, catch, clean, and cook on. Pretty crazy how tiny his head was. And then uh, I thought the fox was super cool. There's like some weird lines on his skull. And then uh, the javelina that I shot, that's that guy right there. Yes, his tusks are pulled a little bit. Made him a little bit bigger. And then uh, some deer that I've shot, but he turned out pretty good. Y'all leave it in the comments. I think it kind of looks a little, little too much with that big bullet in there, but uh, it looks cool with the mouth closed too. So y'all leave it in the comments. Let me know what y'all think. Back on the wall, I got a 50 cal bullet with a uh, my name on it. It was a groomsman gift. That in there, I think that looks pretty cool. A pretty crazy looking pig right there. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, got a few hunts coming up next week. A very special person is coming in for a whole week. So uh, be ready for those upcoming videos. I'm gonna be doing some trapping soon. Um, leave in the comments what y'all wanna see. I got, I can trap coyotes, beavers, um, coons, fox. 
I can try to trap fox and, and bobcats. It's I don't really know how to pinpoint those yet, but I know how to pinpoint coyotes and coons and beavers. So y'all leave in the comments what y'all want to see. Uh, we can definitely do it. So stay tuned for the upcoming videos. There's another giveaway coming up, another hunt giveaway coming up. So stay tuned. Make sure you check out every video so you can see whenever that hunt, new hunt giveaway is announced. And then I will be announcing the winner of the hunt giveaway right now that's going on. All you have to do is go to moltman.net, spend $20. Every $20 will get you entered into the hunt giveaway. And I, I believe that I believe that ends... Um, at the end of next week so so to find out um, the actual date that I announced the winner you can go check me out on Instagram my link will be in the description uh, Mike the malt man on Instagram and uh, I'll post a picture with the dates um, the last day that you can go and enter for that hunt giveaway and then uh, like I said stay tuned for the upcoming videos because there's another hunt giveaway coming up and uh, y'all are gonna really like that one too it's a pretty big one Make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the thumbs up and remember eat good